I, I'm sorry. Can you hear us now? I'm like, sorry. Hello. Hi. Okay, well, I'll start over. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I feel dumb. Uh, my name is Chris, and this is Brandon. This is Whiskey Tango Talk. Um, we live right smack dab in the middle of Wisconsin. We are Whiskey Tango Farms. Um, we do this every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central, um, which is like a live Q&A. We talk about homesteading, gardening, rabbits, quail, whatever. Um, so ask your questions. Um, if we don't know the answer, chances are somebody in the chat probably does, um, or we can get back to you. Um, but definitely don't be shy. Um, before we get started, make sure that you please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell um, so that you can be subscribed to uh, and get notified for all of our upcoming videos and such. Um, we are working on a few different things right now for videos, so stay tuned. Um, we have a Facebook, which is Whiskey Tingle Farms WTF. Obviously, our YouTube channel. We also have Instagram. Um, our website is just whiskeytinglefarms.net. We sell <laughs> quail hatching eggs, stacking egg trays, t-shirts, the Quail Daddy's calendar, um, t-shirts, if I didn't already say that. Um, yeah, so we'll get started since we were a little late, and then I jumped on, and I was talking, and nobody could hear me, so sorry I'm about old. that. Sorry. <laughs> totally my fault. All right. So Joy says hello from Western Oregon. Hello. Thanks for joining in. Good to have you here. We have Miss Verna here. She says good evening, everyone. Um, oh, I forgot to mention Ed and Verna are our moderators. So thank you very much to them for tuning in and helping us out. We greatly appreciate it. Verna said make sure you hit like before you say hi. Yes, please do. Um, S.L. Swanson says, hello, Brandon Kristen Greens from the frozen tundra that used to be known as Memphis, Tennessee. I well, it was negative 25 this morning without the wind, the chill. wind chill yeah. here, so mm -hmm. I can't imagine it'd be too bad down there. Yeah. Um, all of our baby bunnies are still doing well. Um, well I was a they? little, yeah. The, the like nest box is just moving around like they're just okay. fur. Moving. I think she's a, a better mom. Than both. Yeah. Well, I mean, she is. Her name is Elsa, so she's like the frozen. She's queen, the ice queen. The ice queen, yeah. So she so. can handle her babies right now. Um, we have Ed Got Bait, our other moderator, he says good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thanks Thank you, Verna. So Swanson says, nine waiting, nine likes. Week, that means somebody's holding back who owes us a like. <laughs> Jesse Mills is in the house. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Nice to have you here. Jeff Martin says he's got his like in. <laughs> so it's not him that's missing. He says, hi, all. Oh, Ed was the slacker. He said it was me. Thought I hit like. Or thought I hit it. Yeah, so, so we'll Ed usually hits that like you know before the afternoon even rolls around, gets his likes in, stops by, says hi. Yeah, we'll let it go this time. <laughs> Trying to get the cat hair. Elder shed a bunch of cat hair on the couch here. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, it's just cat, cat sparkle dust. I don't know. Um, Jennifer Meyer says, hello all. Hello. Thanks for joining us Good tonight. Evening. Good to have you here. Jasmine Bass is here from Time and Timber. Good evening. Thanks for coming. So Whiskey Tango Farms, I know it's supposed to be super cold there. Yes. Vehicles did not want to start this morning. So that was fun. <clears throat> Verna says it's cold in Ohio, too. I believe it. I think it's cold all over. Uh, James says, hi, all. Checking in. Maybe skipping back out. That's okay. You can always watch the replay. But thanks for joining us. Jasmine says, how are all the quail, buns, birds, kitties, and puppies? Everybody is happy and healthy. Except this guy here. He's, he's just old. So I'm pointing to the cat, not Brandon, by the way. I'm old too. Yeah, I'm getting old. Oh my gosh. Um, 
but yeah, everybody is doing really well. The bunnies seem to be doing really well. So Elsa had her four kits. Um, little Mama did not have babies, which was kind of disappointing. And then I tried, yeah, I tried to breed um, her with souffle, and she was not having it. So then I tried breeding croissant and souffle. She was also not having it. Aurora did not want to have anything to do with Galaxy. So apparently nobody's in the mood. So that's fun. Um, I think we're going to add some supplemental lighting. Um, I Maybe not... when it warms up this weekend. And yeah. I heard it might be up to 35 this weekend. So, you know, that's going to be like a 50 degree, almost 60 degree difference. And that's going to be like a heat wave. That's short weather. Yeah. But apparently the cold. I was waiting for everybody else to laugh too. But, you know, the cold and um, lack of light. Um, I did not know this actually affects rabbits too, just like it does um, chickens mm -hmm. and quail, which totally makes sense. So um, once it warms up and I can go out there without freezing my buns off, haha, get it? Um, <laughs> I'll go out there and I'll add some lighting. I actually ordered some lights and I've had them for a while. And now I'm trying to remember where they are. I just never put them oh, on. The, it's like a rope light. Yeah, they're um, solar though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that I, was dumb. <laughs> I just realized that's probably not the great. Like, it'll help a little, but it's not going to work very, very well. Yeah, my solar light, solar light doesn't work like that. I know it doesn't. So. Uh, and so Swanson said, is this a J night? You realize the majority of people names start with J. Yeah. Interesting. Jasmine says, you all make me smile. Love you, family. We love you, too. Uh, Verna says, I can't wait. Well, I guess I have to for my Celadons to lay their first eggs. Um, uh, Battleborn Urban Homestead just posted their, witch doctor. Uh, which is Witch Doctor and Psycho Ward. Um, they posted that their Celadons just started laying. And I think theirs are like, I think they're a couple weeks older than yours, Verna. Um, maybe like two or three weeks, maybe four. So it should be coming soon, hopefully. Uh, Robert says, good evening from Minnesota. It was negative 18 this morning. All my birds are outside enjoying it way more than I am. Yeah, <laughs> they don't seem to care. Like, they do very, very well in the cold, as long as they're acclimated. Yeah. Ed? Put some pressure on Jasmine. I want to see your first YouTube channel video soon, Jasmine. Yeah, she went live the other day on Facebook. It was a really awesome video to watch um, her interacting with her birds and see how much she loves them and stuff. So that was really cool to see. But and yeah, Verna said she's like, uh, don't you wish you could handle the weather as good as the quail do? Yes. Yeah, they don't they don't care. As long as they have food and water and they can get out of the wind, that's all they care about. Um, S.S. Swanson said, last night I went out to check on my cage and thought someone had stolen all my quail. They were all in the covered area. That was a first. So I guess they were pretty cold. They yeah. didn't like it. Oh, speaking of the witch doctor, she says, hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Oh, and then everybody is like, hey, we can't hear you. Yeah, sorry. Again. Can't hear? Now you know what I feel like. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, there we go. Now everybody can hear tickle us. Tickle trunk in the house. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> you have to pay extra for sound, Ed says. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, your husband just has to hit the unmute button. Yeah. <laughs> Joey says she can't read lips. Me neither. I'm really bad at it. Oh, it was Kelly. Kelly came in and the sound started working. <laughs> Ashley says, yep, we can hear. Awesome. I'm glad you can hear us. Thanks for joining us. Ed posted the link to the Quail Daddy calendar. Yep. So get yours you. while you can um, on whiskeytinglefarms.net. I'll be up there for a short while yet. Yeah, you do not want to miss you it. Wanna, yeah, you know, get this fancy thing. I think it would make a really nice Valentine's Day present, but you should get it ASAP so you don't miss out on January. Who is January? Dale? 
Yeah, Mr. January is Dale from Dale's Quails. He's loving on some quail right there. Yeah. And his lovely camo dress. I have to show you one, a couple more, at least one. You can't. No, 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 don't share that one. That's really good. You can't share that oh, one. Okay. They have to buy it to see that one. Okay. You can't that, share that, that one either. That one either. No. Mm -hmm. You can show the the truck one. I don't know which one that is. Oh, the, in the beginning? Mm -hmm. Some, it's yeah, March. Yeah. We have Zach. It's Mr. March. Oh. Wow, that was way too close. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. That's probably a better view. I was thinking we, if you want to see it that close, you can buy a calendar. <laughs> no, I thanks again to everybody that participated in said calendar and it was Kelly's idea and we kind of took the idea and ran with it and it turned out amazing. And I think the wives had more fun than the husbands actually, but thankfully all the husbands were very good sports about it and they turned out awesome. So thank you. Uh, PG's Family Farm says they can hear us. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. And then they said, make sure you hit like. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Which doctor did two likes. Thank you. Eric Ism says, hello, everyone. Hello. And then we got some trolls in already. But I'm yeah, sure Brenna, and Brenna, Brenna was a that. ninja. She got she took care of him. Yes. That new computer, she must be lightning fast now. Zoom zoom. <laughs> Speed of light. Yes. Yeah. Uh Gary Miller says, hello, with some Tingle Farms and Verna Ed got bait into all the quail family and friends from North Carolina. Hello. Thanks for coming. How's your incubator doing? I think you said you set eggs in there, right? Just curious. Which doctor says it's going to be a lively night. Keep your eye open for those trolls, Verna and Ed. Yes. Ed was sleeping on the job. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, John Mark is here. One of my does kindled her first litter today. All on the wire. Awesome. Oh, oh, that she sucks. didn't even pull any fur. I found them all frozen solid. This was the first time mm. I've ever had a silver fox be a bad mom. Um... It was just her first litter, so maybe she didn't really know what was going on, and they just kind of showed up on her. Um, so definitely don't give up on her. I would definitely try breeding her again. Just breed her right away if, you, if she'll lift for uh, your buck. Um, and give it another shot. Um, I would just make sure, I guess I'd be curious to know, like, when you put the nest box in. Make sure you're only putting it in, like, day 28. Um, otherwise, sometimes they don't seem to realize that it's for the babies and they just like use it as a litter box. Um, but since she's a first time mom, it was most likely not even anything that you did, to be honest. She's just a new mom. So she just doesn't have things figured out yet. PJ's family farm has got it made over there. I've got negative three in New York. That sounds amazing right now. I did get up to 11 degrees, I think, today. Um, so. Wasn't too bad. Um, Ed got bait says, so with the temp far into the negative numbers, do you have to do anything special for the animals? Um, no. So we um, have everything like really winterized because we know that this time of year is like that. We have the biggest issues like in November, December, because in Wisconsin, like it gets very like Mother Nature is very like. We have like 70 normal. degree temperature swings from one day to the next. Yeah, and the animals have a harder time with that. Whereas right now they're okay because they're already used to the cold. The biggest struggle is just us dealing with it, like having to go out there and take care of them um, and making sure that their water um, is fresh and they have fresh food and all that. And making sure that like the, like for instance, we have tarps over the rabbits and just making sure that that didn't blow away and stuff. And of course it always happens when it's super cold out. So you have to spend more time out there than you would like. It can never happen when it's warm, warm. <laughs> so. Flew the Coop Farm says, how much longer will the calendar be available? And hello, hello, thanks for joining us. I think we were gonna leave it up till Valentine's Day, we said, that way people can get them for Valentine's Day presents. Yeah, decided. originally it was going to be the end of the month, um, 
but at least another week and a half or week. Yeah. I'd say. Um, I wanted to give everybody a chance to get it too because um, we only announced it, what, right before Christmas? Right yeah. after Christmas. Um, so I wanted to make sure everybody had a chance to get it. Um, we'll be making more, or Zach will be making more announcements about QuailCon and stuff here coming up. Um, and we're going to kind of release a little more details more and more. Um, and because the proceeds of the calendars go to QuailCon, I'm hoping like the hype QuailCon you know, I think people might be interested in the calendar more so. So I want to give people a chance to get it. But obviously, we don't want to like just leave it up forever because... And you need a new calendar. I mean, I'm yeah. sure most of you forgot to buy one. And, you know, it's January. And you probably don't have one past January. So get go out order. and order it. Yes. Well, you can. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. I'm so jealous. Which doctor says we're a chilly 56 degrees. Better grab the thermals. Oh I my wish. Gosh. Jasmine says that's shorts weather. Or no, maybe she's laughing at your yeah. comment, shorts weather. Yeah. yeah. Probably. <laughs> Tarla is laughing. Hello, thanks for joining us. Uh, Silverback Stacker is here. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. Says, uh, seems like when the cold snap goes away, then the wind and snow come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always one or the other. Um, when it's this cold, you go outside and like your nostrils freeze shut and it's like you can't breathe so then you open your mouth to breathe and then your lips get chapped and it's like it's just the air hurts my face I'm sorry you guys my, just the air hurts my face well i have asthma so when it's this cold out it like i literally just i can't breathe no i instantly just all choke up i can't mm -hmm. breathe it yeah. sucks it's awful Yeah, it is super dry. Everybody likes your joke about shorts weather. Well, it is. I mean, You're so funny. You have that much of a temperature swing, it feels like it. Yeah. Be out there without a shirt on in shorts. I mean, getting a suntan. You can be out there without a shirt on. <laughs> Although I just posted on Facebook something about like going to go get the mail with no pants on. And I was like, well, I mean, I'll probably have like shorts on. Yeah, when you're grabbing the eggs at the door. Yeah. Yeah, if you have eggs shipped right to you. Yeah. Neighbors don't mind. They're all old. So they've they've, they've, been, they've outside, seen though. it already, so, you know. Yeah. Not too exciting for them. Uh, Gary Miller says, hi, it's me again. Just wanted to let you know that I had 18 of my own quail eggs hatched last night out of 24 eggs in my homemade incubator. Awesome. That's awesome. Congratulations. Not bad for the first time. No, not bad That's at great. all. Like, that is awesome. You should be super proud. That's so exciting. I'm happy for you. Oh, well, there was my answer. Yes. <laughs> Bernice says 15 degrees there. Robert says old is 71, just starting raising quail after 35 year absence. You know, you do you, whatever works for you. Do what makes you happy when you can. 71 is not bad. It's not that old. I just feel old. The doctor says I have a back of an 80 year old man. So, Dale's quails speak of the devil. There he is. Good evening, everyone. Finally, winter weather here in Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather have your temperatures, though. Yeah, I'll trade you. Isn't it funny how, how many miles are we apart? I don't know, like two uh, hours or something? We're three hours. Three hours? Yeah. See, Wisconsinites don't really talk in distance, we talk in drive time. So, I don't know how many miles away Dale is, but he's about three hours, and it's a lot warmer there, and it's interesting. Even, like, um, between here and work, I work a half hour north of here, and, like, it can be, like, a 10 or 15 degree difference. Although, I think the elevation up there is a little higher, too, because of the mountain, but, yeah, and the ski hill and stuff, but. Jasmine says, I have been holding off putting my grow outs outside. This is the longest I've kept these quail babies in the house. I'm definitely over brewing them in the house. You are telling me. Mm -hmm. Yes. We are trying to kind of like um, sh change out our breeders and all that good stuff right now um, and try and keep everybody happy, but they're cold and we actually just got a different heater for out there because they don't seem to be very happy. And they're not laying very good, which makes obviously running yeah, some are. egg business. Yeah, some are and some aren't. So I don't know if it's just like, I don't know. 
It's weird. Um, the other ones, I think, got spooked from. I, I put some stuff out there. Yeah. I think they got spooked. So we put a, a bit, fan but... out there to help with air circulation, um, and then they all stopped playing. Like everybody. Uh, um, uh, well, um, not not really stopped. They like just slowed down. And then um, we put plastic over the window, and now everybody is upset again. So we'll All get right. through it. They're still lean enough to ship eggs. Yes. Um, Verna says she just can't wait to see her selling on eggs. Yeah, they're beautiful. Ashley said, her taking the rabbit out for a little car ride puts them in the mood. Also, something with apple cider vinegar and water does it, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, I was actually talking to another Wisconsinite here. Um, I transported a rabbit from the show last weekend for her, and then she picked up um, on Sunday. And I was mm -hmm. talking to her about it, and she said, I have to look. I want to say she sent a teaspoon in a gallon of water or something. Um, and then she said oats will a lot of times like make them a little more open uh, to lifting and breeding. Um, of course, the buck has no problem. He's like ready to go for it. Um, the does are the problem. Um, I have heard the around the street thing. And I thought that that would help because we took, uh, we took croissant to the show. So, of course, we drove her. So I thought like as soon as we got home. I actually didn't even like put her in her cage to eat and drink, and then I let her eat and drink a little bit, and then I put her in Souffle's cage, thinking that like the drive time she'd be like ready to go, and she still wasn't interested. She is only seven months old though, so she is a little on the young side, um, and she wasn't quite as violent to Souffle as what Little Mama was. Little Mama was like, yeah, she did not like Souffle at all. Um, but yeah, I might take, I might try the, you know, drive around the block or whatever with La Mama and see if that helps. Which doctor says our celadons are laying such beautiful eggs. Uh, Verna, it's worth the wait. Yes, they are gorgeous. Mariah says, hey, Chris, I need to talk to you. Message me after. Will do. I haven't seen you in way too long. Mariah is one of my friends uh, from work from a long time ago. Um, it's crazy to think I actually just had a Facebook memory show up. Um, this is Mariah singing. I was pregnant with Olivia the at say? the time. Yeah, it was the What Does the Fox Say video because What Does the Fox Say had just come out. Um, and I was laughing so hard. So, yeah, that was pretty good. That was and, a good video. And it's funny because it. now one of Olivia's favorite songs is What Does the Fox Say? That's probably why. It is probably why. It's probably because of her, too. Probably. Because she did so well. <laughs> yes. Uh, Gary was just saying thanks. Everybody was saying what a wonderful job he did. So that's awesome. Ed says, Robert, it hasn't changed any in 35 years. Yeah, I imagine it's kind of like riding a bike. You just get right back into it. So that's awesome. Jasmine says they're getting their eviction notice tomorrow. Yeah, I'm curious if you're going to like put them out in the garage first um, or like a, well, you don't really have a barn. You have like that three-sided thingy. Although where they are, like in your aviary, like the grow out pens, that is pretty well protected and stuff. I feel like it would be warmer in there than in your aviary. So hopefully they do well. Uh, Happy Hillbilly says, does anybody kind of tease about the WTF meaning? Um, yeah, sometimes, um, especially like on other lives, like if we're on Chris's or Zach's live, somebody will say like WTF and then it's hard to tell if they're like talking to us or if they're like saying like WTF. So it's fun. <laughs> um, there was, there was somebody too that was like, BS or something on one of Zach's lives once. So there was like WTF and BS and like it was funny. Oops, my contacts are blurry. Uh, Hatching at Home is here. He says, hello from Linda at Gully Rumpus. I got my Quail Daddy's calendar in the mail. Love it. Whose idea was it? Was it based on the Irish Farmer's calendar? Um, so it was actually 
Kelly Connects idea from Feathered Connections. Um, we had seen yeah. um, like some calendars of like chicken daddies and they were dressed kind of like in you know like little house in the prairie type you know dress yeah, she sent hats. that to me and Kristen, and she's like you need to do this and i'm like no way in heck i am gonna do that and then i finally did it because Kristen was gonna make me wear some skimpy little shorts <laughs> lace, lace and shorts. i'm like well i guess i'll find a dress It'll be better than anybody seeing any of that because that would have been horrible. They were real so. short. Like they're actually like I don't like even wear them in public. So <laughs> they would have been really short. I'm Brandon. Yeah, they're bad. <laughs> there would have been nothing left to the imagination. <laughs> uh, which I like one of Zach's photos. Yeah, there are a couple in there that are they're good. You Definitely guys. you get they're it. Really good. Yes. Zach? Thank you, Jennifer, for um, getting the, I just seen the order come through, too. Oh, thank you. Uh, Zach definitely took the idea, and he didn't run with it. Like, he, like, did a marathon. Yeah, he's got three photos in there. He, like, put everybody to shame. He definitely set the standards really high. Yeah. I really like Chris's, though, too. Yeah, Chris's, Chris's are also very good. And Dale's. And you, Dale's. Can, you can tell which ones we like the most, because there's more of them. Uh, which doctor said we got our calendar. Awesome. awesome. Barbara says, hey. Hello. hello. PJ's Family Farm says they love the calendar. Glad you're liking it. Dale's Quails says our Bob's, well, Bob, Bob Weiss. Weiss, are loving the open airy. Aviary. Wow, word. With negative 30 wind chill and snow, barely see them inside at all. Yeah. yeah. That's, nice that's a warmer wind chill than us. Mm -hmm. That's all right. They get more snow than us. Yeah. Kelly says, ow, ow. <laughs> to Dale's photo. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm glad you read that because I would have been like, OWOW. -O -W. <laughs> Sorry. And then, yes, Ed said it was Kelly's idea for the calendar. Jasmine says, I've got my calendar hung up on the fridge fader. Awesome. There you go. That sounds like an excellent place for it. Yes. PJ's Family Farm says, great idea, Kelly. I agree. It was awesome. Ed says, WTF, congratulations on the over 700 subs getting close to the 1,000. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It is like slowly creeping up yeah thank you oh oh i should have said in the announcement so we were at the rabbit show last weekend and ed posts or ed sent i think he sent you a message or you and me and he's like hey you got a shout out on looking traditions we're like what and so like brandon got out his his phone because i was trying to like get my ipad to work but we had a really crappy signal because we were in this like metal building and for us. some reason my phone worked but like Nothing my iPad went in, her phone went in, and they're all in yeah. the same service, but... Yeah, mine kept switching between 5G and LG, whatever. Anyhow, so we were watching it on his phone, and I had him, like, turn it up all the way, because I'm super deaf. It was loud what? in there. It was super loud in there, of course. Like, every so often, there's, like, a loudspeaker calling for, like, the different um, breeds or whatever. And these people were, like, looking at us, like, staring, like, why are we listening to this so loud? Like, just i need to listen to this like you don't understand how cool and important this is to us like there's like yeah it was a really cool feeling it was like such a good surprise so we had sent um kevin and sarah some stacking egg trays because we saw that he was getting back into quail and we're like hey you know maybe you'll like some trays and then i had brandon put on um a feather design on it and um psalm 91.4 which is he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. Um, and that's actually what I have on my arm as a tattoo. Oh, it's a feather. It's hard. <laughs> anyhow, Whatever. I promise we're not weird. But anyhow. I'm weird. I'm very weird. <laughs> she might so, promise that she's not, but I know I'm weird. Yeah. 
well, that's probably why we marry each other. We're both weird. Anyhow, it's one of my favorite um, Bible verses. And like the whole like feather thing, I just thought it's kind of cool to put on hatching egg trays. Um, and they liked them. So that was really neat. So I'm glad they're getting good use. Barbara says, I have a question about meat rabbits. We've got a Buck New Zealand Red and a Holligan. I don't know what that is. Holligan doe that are six weeks old. Do I need to separate them before they're old enough to breed? I would. Um, what? Go ahead. I would because, well, I guess. I was going to play the clip for Living Traditions, but. Oh, is it a Buck? Oh, they're each six weeks old. Yeah, I would definitely keep them separate until the doe is ready. Um, meat rabbits, I know some people say you can breed as early as like six months. Um, Tiffany from Tealstone Home said, said that you'll, a lot of times you'll have difficulty breeding them before like eight months. Um, and I've found that to be pretty true so far. Um, we're sort of new to rabbits, so take what we say with a grain of salt. But I have found that to be true. Um, you also want to make sure that the buck and doe can't like really see each other otherwise the buck will spray and it's stinky and messy and gross so yeah i was gonna here, I'll, okay i'll play this because dale dale told or ed told me to so guys all these cool uh egg holders that one of our subscribers sent us uh, this is from whiskey tango farms in wisconsin they make these they have a 3d printer and they make these egg holders I have this sitting out here, so as I'm working out here during the day, if I collect eggs, I can set them up here for the day. And then at the end of the day, I can just take everything in the house all at once. But aren't these cool? Uh, these are really neat egg holders that they made. So thank you guys so much. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's super cool. cool. And we found out um, because they had lived or went to school or grew up in Oshkosh, um, which is about 45 minutes from where I grew up. And so my family used to go to the Fox Valley, like Oshkosh, Appleton area all the time when I was little. And I was always like so excited to, so exciting to go there on the weekends, like going to the big city, you know? So uh, it's kind of funny. Um, we had messaged them a while back and I said that I was from Watoma and Kevin's like, yeah, the Christmas tree capital of the world. I'm like, nobody knows that. Like nobody knows that Watoma is the Christmas tree capital of the world. And I was like geeking out and it was like, I don't know, super early in the morning that we got the email or whatever. So that was super neat. Um, apparently he had gone fishing there when he was younger too. So he actually knows where Watoma is. Most people don't. So, cause the population is literally 2000 people. So my graduating class, I think there was, there was 97 in my class, but I think only like 83 of us walked. Um, cause some of them were like migrant families and stuff. So anywho. Um, James says, I would for sure agree the calendar wives had more fun, but watch out next year. Payback is a beach. Yeah, you know, people keep saying that, but mm, I don't think it's going to happen. I think we should have a photo shoot at QuailCon. So bring your dresses, gentlemen. No. No. We're going to do it earlier than that. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Like, do it earlier and have the twenty do it in the summer. calendars ready to go. We'll so, be uh, reaching out for some volunteers um, here in I'll a say. couple months. Yeah, we'll have a model call. That'll be fun. That'll be exciting. So. Uh, Vernon says January is typically the coldest month of the year and March is the snowiest. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, and mark your calendars, at least if you live in Wisconsin, there's always, always, always a blizzard on my birthday or right around my birthday, so the end of February. So get your shovel out, get it ready. I don't know what it is about my birthday. Um, a couple times when I was younger, um, we actually had the power go out or and we like rain on the gas and propane, propane gas, yeah. Um, so the house wasn't heated. Like, it, yeah, there's uh, always something wrong. Yeah, so. your house had a, uh, them things that keep you warm. A fireplace? Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One of those things that keep, yes, we did keep warm with the fireplace. Sorry. And Ed posted our link again over on Facebook. 
thank you so much. Yeah, we dual stream on Facebook and YouTube. So if you're like, hey, I don't see all these comments, that's because some are coming in from Facebook and some from YouTube, and that's why they have the different symbols on them. Um, so here's Psycho Ward says, hi, everyone. Also from uh, Bailborn Urban Homestead. Sorry. <laughs> and then calls. Witch Doctor says, hi. You guys are adorable. <laughs> Uh, Verna says, yeah, I know how you feel with the asthma. Or no, not, uh, I don't know how to read it. Ed says, yeah, I know how you feel with the asthma. I think I saw the Y in the Y from Verna's last name. Sorry. Gaston Quail Farm says, hey, everyone. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Ro S is here from Canada. Hi, everyone. Canada? Canada. Canada? Canada. Okay, there, A. Yeah, there, A. Up there, North. Up north area. Negative 30 degrees Celsius. Gross. Thank goodness new pup is pee pad trained because I am not going out with that. Yeah, I don't blame you. That sounds awful. I like this. Hmm? I like this. You do or do not like yes, it? Yes, I do. So we're, I had Brain and Print some white yeah, trays. You even see the name on them. Yeah. So that's to help me keep it had he just pulled out the printer so it's got some like, hot hot off the press it's got some little cobby webbies on it but strings well it's yeah they're not actually cobwebs sorry like i think that they look like cobwebs but it's just like filament um <laughs> um but i had him print them in a lighter color um so i can write on them um like what cage they're from and stuff and then i figure like if i ever change things around i can always these are the normal ones. Yeah. This is a 30. Wow. Well, I can't do cameras. That's today. good. But, and then the, the normal 15 Team count. count trays. I really like the 30 counts. I wasn't sure if I was going to like them, but like they turned out amazing and I prefer these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but, I figured um, I can write with a Sharpie or something on the white, and then if we ever change something or I need to reuse it or something, I can just take some rubbing alcohol and take the writing off of there. S.O. Swanson said, what's going on with that fancy new refrigerator? Yeah. I actually was doing some more, trying to find a different part for it. Yeah. Because the, I think I mentioned it before, the um, device, the ultrasonic um, humidifier thing in there stopped working. So I stopped working on it. And I think it's just probably the disc. But since it stopped working in such a short period of time, it's either. I'm thinking they're probably really broken. I just haven't didn't really look at it because I've been so busy with work and everything. But um, I was looking at trying to possibly buy a different one that might last longer. I'm really excited. Like I really want. It only ran. Running. It only ran. I had the whole refrigerator and everything, like, and try and tweak it and stuff, running for maybe four or five days, and that humidifier um ultrasonic thing and it didn't run that often but it was enough i guess to kill it so, but it was it was really cheap very cheap i cheaped out but now i'm paying for it sometimes cheap things do work but sometimes sometimes you do get what you pay for but yeah. you don't know until you try so and it was it was an experiment yeah I mean, I I guess I should do a video on it just to show you guys what I've done so far, and trial and error, um, how it's failed so far. Because <laughs> I don't mind showing that. It's just I like we've been lacking in videos just because I've been really busy with work, and so is Kristen, especially with the holidays. And then now I've had a bunch of issues come up with some of my software at work, and I've been breaking stuff and costing them business money. So I've been trying to work my butt off fixing that. Working long hours, extra hours. Yeah. 
um, for me at work, we're just finishing up um, Q4. Um, so we're really pushing hard to finish strong. Um, Cause at my work, we do like this pretty big competition um, where you can end up going to Florida, which obviously sounds amazing right now because it's negative 25 and I would love to be in the sun. Um, so hopefully we win that. Um, we'll find out here hopefully in a couple weeks whether we made the cut or not. But so I've been trying to like just keep my eyes on the prize with that. So, um, oh, Silverback Stacker says I used to work at Stevens Point at this fire's ER. Interesting. Really? It's probably seen you hit you or my mom or his sister because. <laughs> Well, your sister went there a couple times. My mom was there. Yeah, it depends once. on how long ago. Yeah. Well, I mean, it hasn't been there very long. That building? Five, six years? Longer than that. Really? Yeah. It was there when we lived in the apartment buildings over there. Not the ER portion. It was just a clinic, and then they added the ER. No, on, it was they? an ER walk-in clinic thing first. Oh. Walk-in before anything else. Huh. So, I guess I do. I, I and then they that. added on the hospital um, just a couple of years ago. Gotcha. Oh, instead of just the ER. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just like a little little hospital. Oh, I think we already answered that. Um, about separating them. Yeah, I, I would definitely separate them. Psycho Wars says we got about 35 my share of grandbabies yesterday. That's awesome. I saw that. That's so exciting. Like when when you start like hatching out your own and not just eggs that you had shipped in, like it's so cool. So so cool. So I love seeing you guys progress. That's neat. Uh, Kelly says I'm glad it's not that cold here. I just put my project birds outside yesterday. There are 25 days today, finally out of quarantine for COVID. Uh, it hit each of us a few days apart. That is not cool. That sucks. I'm glad you're feeling better, though. Um, so I saw you had a bunch of, like, farm pickups to do and stuff today, so that's exciting. Um, oh, it's not fun. No. I'm curious if your project birds are the ones I know about, or are you hiding something else? What you have to say? text me. She said she put her project birds outside today. Oh. Probably, because mm -hmm. I think that's about the time mm -hmm. I sent some eggs before. Yeah. Uh, Peg P says hello from North California. Hello, Northern California. Words are hard. Hello, thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's not North Carolina. No. <laughs> Everyday oil mommies is here. Says hatched seventy three of my eggs last week out of eighty four. It's not too bad. I mailed 60 eggs from California to a friend in Texas to get her started. That's so neat. Thank you for the Quail Daddy's calendars, sharing them too. Great. That is awesome. I'm glad you're liking it. Awesome. That's really cool that you were able to help a friend get started. That's exciting. And then when they start being successful and they start hatching in babies of their own, like it's such a cool feeling. So, um, Gary Miller said, yes, it was fun for the first time, thanks for your help. Also wanted to tell you the temperature the week I gathered eggs was 19 degrees to 23 degrees. That's awesome. You're very welcome for everything. I'm glad it's working out for you. Jasmine says, two of my WTF pearl hens are getting pulled from the future freezer camp line because they are perfect aesthetically and so They're damn dumb birds. sweet. I can't wait to breed them with my fave pearl root. Yeah, they, I love how their plumage turned out. Like, it's, they're just, they're super symmetrical. Like, they just, they look really good. Yeah, don't, don't eat those. <laughs> I mean, you can, like, I'm not telling you what to do, but they're really pretty. I wouldn't be able to eat them. No. Um, Margo says, do you have a recommendation for the number of quail per square foot or cubic feet for an aviary? Um, I can't really speak to um, the aviary portion, although I do see people asking a lot in newbie quail lovers. Um, so definitely check that out. It's a group on Facebook. And I believe Jasmine just posted answering somebody else's um, question along the same thing. So, um, but for a cage, we do three jumbos per square foot or three and a half standard per square foot. And then we do a 
for a breeder set, we do one male to four females, but recommend, and that's just because we ship out eggs and stuff. We want to make sure our fertility is really high. Um, but for like our fun pens, um, and like for our customers, we recommend five pens to one group generally, um, in a cage setting. Um, you can also have a bachelor pen though as well. We do have some of those too, um, for like backup brews in case somebody gets killed. So, cause that happens. They're not always very nice. And then we also have to replace the murderer. So we don't want that in our breeding program. So then we usually have to replace two at a time. Um, Kelly says, but Friday we're doing a mini field trip to our place for a local homesteading group to teach them about quail and self-sufficiency. That's super exciting. I'm glad you're out of quarantine. You're able to do all that. Spreading the word, getting the young people involved. Young whippersnappers. Them young whippersnappers. Margo says, I can't wait for my Celadon eggs. Yes, I'm super excited for you. Hopefully we'll get those shipped out here soon. We are booked out a while for celadons. I actually took them off the site now, I think, um, until we get caught up um, because I don't want people waiting too long either. Um, so I'll put them back up on the site when they are like actually available. I think I took Jumbo Wilds off as well um, because those ones were getting kind of booked out too. Um, yeah, they're so, booked out. But yeah, so we'll let you know when those are back up, hopefully soon. So, um, PJ's family farm. Wow, sorry. PJ's family farm says, "What color are your celadon layers?" Um, so the ones that we sell right now are Rosetta. I'm sorry, <laughs> Scarlet and Red Range. It's kind of like Rosetta, but for, I know. with brew. Um, they are Scarlet and Red Range with tuxedo. So you'll get some solid, like reddish colored birds some tuxedos and some solid whites um the solid whites tend to be mostly white with like a, just a dot on their head um we are working on some other plumages of um celadons as well we're trying to make some feather sexable because that is something that we want to specialize here at whiskey tangle farms because we want to make it easy for people to get started and i really think that having a feather sexable bird is probably the easiest way to get started and get on your feet. Um, for one, vent sexing tends to be very messy. For two, you have to wait until they're six weeks at least, like if you're just doing it for the first time. Um, and usually by then there are injuries. So I don't really prefer non-feather sexables. So I have kind of a love-hate relationship with my celadons in that aspect. But since we're working on the other celadons at the same time, I'm, I'm very excited about those. So... We are working hard on those. Um, Kelly says, same question on which Celadon colors you guys have. I can't remember if I got pearl cellies or scarlet red range cellies. Yes. Um, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Kelly uh, is a, kind of our guinea pig. So, but. Well, and I don't feel like hatching out, I'll send some to her. Yeah, but they are their project yet. So, yeah. Those are the pearls are not really on the project list. We just happen to have some birds that lay celadon. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like a oh well it's that's neat. Yeah, it's like a that's exciting. Let's roll with it. They like, might they might be out in some of the orders too, but. Yeah, but not they weren't still. They're not as guaranteed, cell they're not guaranteed cell downs. Right. They're heteros, I guess. So so yeah, maybe keep your pearl celly separate and test breed it first. Um what? What? Something about speedo. Oh, maybe about the quail babies calendar. Oh, are you gonna wear a speedo this year? Heck no. You're nuts. Got your mind. I can't share all of that with everybody of him. I have to keep some for myself. I don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. I mean. Jeez. I wouldn't Let's mind. Move on. But, okay, sorry. Ed says thanks for sparing us. 
Okay. So you're welcome. The general consensus is you. But you're my husband. Like, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, that's different. Okay. I may be a little biased. Uh, Jasmine answered Margot and said, aviary setting is the best to have one to two and a half square foot per Katurn's quail. Oh, quite a bit of space. I like that. Um, I can't wait to get an aviary. Jasmine's aviary is hashtag gold. It's beautiful. And there's all like these like little places to hide. And um, today I was at Fleet Farm. And I saw some of the like terracotta flower pots. I'm like, oh, they're really, I'm, I should get one. And I, I shouldn't have sent her to the store because she was supposed to go there for like, I don't know, two seconds. Because the place is literally like half a mile away. And she was gone an hour. So I was looking at terracotta pots and I was like, oh God, I should really get these for my aviary that I don't have and I don't have room for. I was like, oh, I'll just make like a little corner and I'll just put a couple in there. I'm like, no, I need to stop. You get rid of the chickens, you can have an aviary. I really like my silkies though. Okay. Well, you, you have half a barn. Anywho. Then I was looking at coats because right now I have a... Um, okay, well, we're, okay you, whatever. I was looking at coats. No okay. stories. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. And you, guys, you guys don't need to hear yeah. dumb stories. Uh, which doctor says, I saw your 3D printed egg holders on the Living Traditions video. I think it was the newest one they did. Yes, it just got posted on Saturday. Or at least I think it did because that's when Ed messaged I think it was Saturday. Yeah. That would make sense because usually as soon as I get the notifications, they have a video, I watch it. I really, really like her. Um, I like Sarah's canning stuff a lot because I'm trying to get into canning. And I'd watch a lot of her like I'm loose, say, huh? loose of a lot of her Lufa Gord videos and stuff. Um, so, anyhow, usually as soon as I get a notification, like I'll watch it. But of course, we were at the rabbit show, so we weren't like really looking at our phones much. Um, and a rabbit show isn't really a place to be like watching a video because it's loud and stuff. Um, but when we saw that roll through that Ed told us, I'm like, I don't care. Everybody's going to hear this video. So, yeah, that was super exciting. Oh, Ed got bait says no, they put a new video out today. I'll have to check that out. Make a liar out of me. I didn't see that one come through. I was very busy today though, so I will watch that as soon as we're done because I really enjoy their videos. They're they're also gold. I have a lot of people that I look up to as far as like YouTube and stuff. Like I love I look up to Tiffany a lot with her rabbits. I look up to Sarah and Kevin because of their homesteading. I love Jasmine's like attitude and like outlook on life and her aviary and living her dreams and you have Kelly who's living out her dreams and being a wonderful mama while doing all this amazing stuff so anyhow there's a and of course like Zach and Jenna with their entire farm and stuff so I have a lot of people I look up to in our hashtag goals so yeah um so yeah anyways I'll have to check them out uh Dale says we just ordered some more 30 count egg holders from WTF today. Yes, I saw those come through. The duck holders are fantastic, so wanted to try the quail ones. I think you will like them. I think Brandon was gonna try to add something for you as well. No, they're there's printing right now. That's why I got up before. Oh. Was the started. <laughs> okay. Um I feel like I was going to ask you something, Dale. Oh, something. shoot. I'm sorry, everybody. Did you guys see the earthquake? earthquake? You know. There's an echo in here. There's an earthquake and an echo. Sorry, guys. Every time I... So I have a picture of my mom and dad, and every time my kids or somebody actually knocks their picture off the table, my kids are like, Oma, Opa, did you feel the earthquake? It's cute. Yeah, but Bruno it gets annoying for a while. Yeah, I apologize. I'm sure that was loud because... Yeah, oh, the microphone's on there. Especially if you guys have like headphones. I'm really in. sorry. PJ's family farm says beautiful tat. Thank you. What you could see of it was me like doing like I'm playing Twister or something. <laughs> oh, and then Ed just says WTF play that clip I sent you from Living Traditions. Verna said define weird. I'm terrified of normal. <laughs> I'm sorry that I was laughing at Essel Swanson. He said I hid on, under the desk when I heard it. The <laughs> bang. I'm sorry. Oh. Take cover. 
Oh, man. She said to find weird. I'm terrified of normal. Of normal. Yeah. yeah I, I think we're all weird in our own ways. So yeah. I think that's why we all get that's along. Why, I think that's just what makes us human. So we're all different kinds of weird though. Cause like there are some people I've met at work that they're weird, but they're like not my kind of weird. They're just their own kind of weird. And I'm like, keep your weird over there. But um, <laughs> I get along with most weird people. So you do you. Jasmine says, you'll love the quail egg trays, Dale. I love mine. Oh, I'm so jealous, Jasmine, of your wood ones. They're like the only, they are the only They're ones. They're the only ones. I have, we have one. Yeah, but we that was one. messed up. It, yeah, it was messed up. It it's was like, when I was making Jasmine. It's like deformed in yeah. the corners. It's a little weebly wobbly. Yeah, it was. So anyhow, he did give me a hand-me-down printer that I have yet to use because I don't know how to do that stuff and he was supposed to show me but we were busy you know um so maybe i'll make my own wood trays now which doctor says they are great trays we love ours the colors are great too yes i love the colors that you picked out and like when i saw them all stacked together like the different colors like they just they vibe really well together and I would have never thought that like OD green and teal would look good together, but I think that's one of my new favorite color combos. I think they got teal, didn't they? Ooh. Like a turquoise, um, Balborn. Yeah, they ordered uh, like a minty turquoise. They ordered that blue. Yeah. The light blue. And OD green. Which is teal. The OD green. They ordered like this the slate color. This blue. Yeah. And then um green like bright green right Lime green. no gray gray thing anyhow it looked really good together like i would have never i think they're, i think they she, good. she ordered two of each yeah, colors so. that i had like at the time colors. Yeah. bernie says i love mine i have had since quail con yeah i think you got pink ones if i remember right Lee's Quails is here from Oklahoma. Thanks for joining us. It's great to have you. Yeah, I think Brenna got a couple different colors at QuailCon to separate out the different birds. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I want to say she got orange too or something. Brenna says it always rains on my birthday, her birthday in May. Well, that sucks. It does suck. I kind of like listening. I don't like working outside in the rain. It's, and like, it's all like mucky and gross but i like the smell of rain so like if i don't have to do something outside which i always do but like when i'm done like when i'm inside i like having the window open and smelling the rain it smells good um ss swanson said for the calendar i couldn't get my legs shaved in time for the deadline oh i don't think there were any shaved legs in this calendar i don't think so tim tim it's from the freaking show I, i'm just saying i'm not gonna do that so i don't think so <laughs> yeah no no pressure you be all natural <laughs> it says dang words are hard yeah they sure are <laughs> um jeff martin asked do your trays stack with jumbos on the bottom yes they are made to hold jumbos actually um, cause we have, I would go get some jumbo eggs if, if we had if some, I, had, I keep shipping them all out. Well, one of our new breeders just laid an egg. I don't know if it was really jumbo yet though. Cause she just started. Well, yeah, they're, they're, it's yeah. a pitiful, it's not a jumbo. So, but yes, they do fit jumbo. Yep. No. Guest on Quail Farm says we ordered some jumbo pharaoh eggs last week. When will they ship? Um, I will have to look at the list. I think we're about a week or two out currently. So hopefully soon. Yeah, I do have your order sitting there in the stack to ship. So um, and you'll get a tracking number as soon as they ship as well. Yeah, I don't do the we don't print the tracking shipping label. shipping label or send out the tracking info until the day it ships so 
Uh, Jasmine says, I think I want to try a different heating element for my fridge debater. Can't decide on what I want to use. Going to try ceramic heat bulbs, I think. Is that what you said you used? No. No, she, so she has um, light bulbs in hers. And then um, she went, I know she talked about that before with me, um, trying the ceramic bulbs instead. Um, but no, I have a ceramic heating element. Oh. Like just, that yeah. you find in a space heater. We talked about that today. So that's why I thought you had ceramic bulbs. Because then I said something about like, oh, ceramic, like we use for one of our, we have a ceramic like lizard reptile bulb or whatever. Um, Ed says yes, do the video. What video? Your refrigerator oh. um, failures and how things are going. Maybe just like an update video instead of like waiting until it's done done. Yeah, I need to. I have a couple of videos I really need to do. Yeah, we have a lot of content recorded, and then the editing portion is taking us a little long. So. No, there's some of the content, and then it just the content sucked. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, and then we got a new camera, and we were recording the video, and it kept shutting off. Yeah, that wasn't fun. That was super annoying. So then, but there's a setting on there to change for a higher heat mode, so it won't shut off now, and it hasn't since. But yeah, that was, I was we were in the middle of recording a video that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and it just crapped out. And I didn't even know when it crapped out because you. It doesn't make sound. It does, but it's very quiet. Well, so I had hear. no idea. We just kept like talking, kind of yeah. like when we started the video too. Yeah, We're just like just talking, talking oblivious, not to anybody. So that sucked, and it was something that we were like putting together. So yeah, yeah it was partially a build video, so it really sucked. Jennifer Myers says, "I would love to get my other half a Quill Mama's calendar." You know. It would be kind of. I really fun think it'd be do, fun to like, do a pin up a Quail Mama calendar, and I, a lot of people are telling me they don't want to, or they don't think they can convince their wife. And you know, I'll be more than happy to take pictures for that too, or you know, auditions or whatever. I don't know. That sounds weird, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. You know, if we're doing a quail daddy, you want, I'm, you know, we're a in, model call. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> that was like quickly. Yikes. Okay. Right over. <laughs> I know um, one of my, one of my very first customers um, who lives locally here, she actually does like pinup competitions and stuff. And like, she is really, really good, right, Lynn? Oh, really? Yeah. And she like wins like awards and stuff. Like, she does really good. It would be kind of cool to do like a pinup Quail Mama's calendar. So I don't, I wouldn't know the first thing about that. I guess I could look into it. I don't, I'll consider it. We'll see. I, I, I can, I'm not going to do it my alone, alone though. So I mean, like, some of you other ladies better help me with this. <sighs> Bernie says, yes, Jasmine, do a video on it. On the refrigerator, I think she needs. Mm hmm. Um, as the Swanson said, regarding the video on the refrigerator, I, it'll be a race on that video against Dale's on the hydroponics video. <laughs> yeah, Dale. Hint, hint, hint. I actually talked about to Dale about doing that video for him because I, I was, I plan on doing some of that and doing more gardening here video videos here pretty quick. So yeah, and do some like collab videos. That's kind of way. What? It's just like in the way. Hey, I don't know. I don't. Does it really matter? Do you guys mind the corner of this sitting here? You just kind of show our off our lovely sticker. sticker. You know, you order stuff from us to get a sticker. Yeah, we actually send die cut stickers now, though. Is that what it's called? Die cut. Like it's mm -hmm. actually cut out around the scale edging. Mm -hmm. Those were the original ones. First Jeff first. Martin says, "Bet you could sell more mamas calendars." We'll see. I don't know. Kelly said. A bunch of us hillbilly wives, haha. Ha. I mean, those are the options, but I know me and Chris and Mary said no, lol. Well, you know how many times I said no, Kelly? Yeah, a lot. But as soon so. as he said yes, I'll tell you that dress was on the way from Amazon, the boots were on the way. He did the farmer tan all on his own, though. 
That was awful. Well, I'm just, I'm just that natural, you know. You still got it. Look at it. Oh, yeah. It I always really, do. It shows up really good on camera. In the picture, though. I always have dark skin, though. Yeah. I'm dark. I know. Darker skin all the time. Are you Hawaiian? Shut up. Oh, man. For those of you who don't know, we met online, and his, like, profile picture was him in the summer, and he was holding up a fish, and he was, like, really, really tan, like, olive kind of, and I was like, God, you're really dark complected. Are you Hawaiian? Like, he looked Hawaiian, and maybe it's because he's holding up a fish. I don't know. And he's like, no, I'm Bohemian. I'm like, what's that? And he sends me a let me Google that for you link, smart Alec. And I jerk. clicked on it. It was a jerk move. And it, I don't know, it was, for some, for some reason, I thought it was really cute, even though he was actually insulting me. So, yeah. Oh, they're all talking about crazy quail lady calendar instead of pinup. Wait, you didn't say anything about being a crazy quail lady. They did. Oh, okay. But. Come on, Kelly. Oh, boy. Uh, Dale says, our towers, buckets, and horizontal stuff are full of plants currently. Whoops. Yeah, he sent me a picture of that. I need a picture. I didn't see with the plants in it, though. I don't think. He sent me with the the tubes and the... I don't even know if he had the net cups in there. But well, you could just show that. Do, like, a tour video <clears throat> to see I, um, what it looks like currently. I'm, I need to design him a special top for it. And... I haven't had time. So oh, here's the crazy quail lady. Thought about suggesting crazy quail ladies calendar spin up of crazy cat ladies. Lord knows I have enough quail. So a lady at the post office when we dropped off hatching eggs, like because we're there all the time, obviously, and she says, So I'm living right in Stevens Point. And I'm like, well, like the suburbs, yeah. And she's like, Well, how many quail do you have? You guys, I panicked, and I'm like, I didn't want to tell her the real number, because I'm like, she's going to think I'm nuts. I think I told her 100 or 200. We have, like, 600 adults. But if I said that, I'm pretty sure they would, like, do a welfare check or something. So, especially when they find out we live on not even an acre of land. But people don't understand, like, they don't need a lot of space. Dale says, we're still two to three weeks on cage orders, so Brandon will win the race easily, lol. You've got help now. You can catch up. You can do it. We believe in you. Getting there. That's good. I'm I'm happy for you, Dale. You're doing really well. Kelly said, yep, it's the project birds you know of. Just have that one plus my jumbo line. I breed pearls and scarlet red range from you guys just because I think they're pretty. Yes. Uh, Verna shared the link to the Newbie Quail Lovers group, so go ahead and join if you're not already in that group. There's lots of really good ideas there. Um, everybody is welcome. So we try to help each other out and stuff. Who's this joker? Oh. Oh, jeepers. Oh, and then Verna, sorry, I skipped it. Verna also posted the self-sufficient quail, um, which we talk about like a lot of homesteading and self-sufficiency in that group. Um, that one is very, very popular. There's also, I'm sure she posted, there's quail in the kitchen, quail call, quail for profit, um, all of those. So if you're not in those, definitely join us. Um, they all kind of obviously have their own themes. So we do try to keep stuff on subject. Um, so, like, for instance, like, if we're not posting something about, like, cooking quail, like, we try not to post it in the Quail for Kitchen. Um, and the same thing goes for the Quail for Profit group. Like, we try to keep it business-related and stuff. Um, so, if you have questions, just message somebody that's an admin of the group, um, and they can always answer your questions. So, um, Kelly says, ha, I mean, my hubby knew how much it meant to me, so he didn't object much. He knew better, right? Uh, but after my baby, I'm a big old, what? Oh, but after my baby, I'm a big old sexy, so I would be really subconscious to be in a photo shoot years myself. Now! I think she's calling herself voluptuous. Voluptuous? Voluptuous, yes, I can't speak. Voluptuous? Voluptuous. She got curves. <laughs> yeah, work it. Work it, girl. Verna 
Jonah says, it sounds like you two have a lot to incubate to grow your line. Yeah. Yes. We're, yeah, and then desperate need to grow because yeah. everything's behind. Yeah, and oh, I just set eggs for, I don't have any to set. We have some that, um, because we're not selling those eggs right now. Okay. But, yep. Yeah, we are trying, we like planned out like when we have to set eggs for like the really big swap in the spring. And I got turkey eggs to set too. Bob says we got 13 turkey eggs to set. I'm sorry, what? Oh, from Killian Slater? Yeah. Oh my God, they have babies? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, they have eggs. They got eggs, yes. The 13 eggs to so I was gonna that's set That's an unlucky number. Well, he said today we should have 14. So. Okay, that's okay, that's all right. But she's been sitting on them or or trying to. Oh, well, so, Bob can try to get those away from her because I've heard that turkey moms can. He said he was gonna get, get them away from her, and <laughs> um, I would love to watch that. We're gonna grab them and set them. I wonder who's going to be more defensive. I don't know, Slater. Kelly or Slater. Slater's been trying to kick Bob's butt every time he walks in there. So. Well, he doesn't want anybody messing with his girl. Just like when you posted that photo of um, that won the contest in Quail Call of the angry, the angry rooster, because you're trying to take pictures of his hens. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to take pictures of ladies. Freedom Quilt Farm is here. It says hello. Hello. <laughs> what? I think he's tuning. Oh, fun. Somebody is, and it ain't me. It ain't me. <laughs> okay, it must be Elvis. Um, Ed got bases. Kelly lay in a water trough filled with water and use a bath bomb to color the water and put a quail or two on the edge. There you go. That's actually not a bad idea. Kelly says, okay, follow up Sally question. So the scarlet red range should lay blue. Yes, because I swear they came from blue eggs, but I'm finding regular eggs. Yeah, I kind of comment on that. Those were um, eggs, the scarlets that I sent Kelly were from my blue hutch, which the dad came from a blue egg, but So they're only hetero. He was only he came from a blue egg, but the dad from that batch wasn't a solid on so there's like hardly any luck that you get it solid on from my blue hutch oh because that was a rainbow eggs or blue hutch it's surprise blue hutch yeah phs my blue hutch eggs that's the like kind of frustrating thing about celadons is like you don't you have to make sure that they're homozygous because you might Get, you might get a blue egg if they're Yeah, they're, they're so far removed now that in that line. And it's then like very small I did lose, I think I lost either Mr. I didn't lose Mr. Eyebrow. I lost the other um, red range um, female I had in there. Yeah, I think Mr. Eyebrow is still in there, isn't he? Mr. Eyebrow is in there. But I lost a couple of quail in my hutch outside just because it got really cold and really fast. Like on the, the, pave and the, rabbits. the cold the enclosed area i didn't have anything on the bottom so a lot of the cold air came up and i had a couple a couple frozen birds i'm sorry i keep hitting this stupid thing they went to freezer camp early yeah unexpectedly sucks mm -hmm. no, it's not good. uh verna said that is one of the problems with celadons yep yeah, we haven't had issues with our actual production. Right, celadons. like our actual the celadons that we sell on our website are homozygous, so they will lay blue eggs. Or well, I mean, the females will. Hopefully, your males don't lay blue eggs because then they're not males. <laughs> Bernie said, "Living traditions video today was about moving all the animals around." Yeah, I know that they're trying to move um, a lot of their stuff from the homestead down to the farm and all that. Um, I really like, she's been doing, Sarah's been doing um, uh, videos about rabbit breeding and stuff. And since we're kind of new to it, um, I like watching those as well. So they have like a plethora of awesome information on their channel. Oh, 
Yeah, you're in. Okay. You just said that. <laughs> yeah, oh. so so Kelly's okay. So Kelly's celadons, some of them that we sent her were homozygous because they're they're different. But they the plumage are um cool. Verna, yours are homozygous. Yours came from our scarlet and red range tuxedo. Um thank you, Verna. What? Okay, sorry, there was a troll and holy crap. Oh, I was trying to get to it and Verna was too, and I couldn't actually hide the person. Sorry. Anyways, go ahead. Yeah, yours are homozygous. What are oh Verna's yes. Yeah, they're scarlet and red range plus tuxedo. Yep. Cheers, Jasmine. Jinx earthquake. <laughs> Brain is a shoot, so I did. Oh, <laughs> that's so awesome. I hid under the desk. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, see, you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I'm that's sorry. Wrong. The Rick, he's a 3.5 on the Rick oh. field. The earthquake. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. crying. Oh my god. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, we're gonna jinx it. Only one troll so far tonight, and then another one hopped on. Oh, it's three now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Oler, Mike. Mike Oler. Hey, WTF, how you doing? We are good. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully you're good too. Verna says you snort cute. I snort cute? That's, I have never heard that before. <laughs> Usually I get told that I'm embarrassing. <laughs> mm. um, Verna says yes. Hers are scarlet so and red. I'm curious to hear if anybody has planned out their gardens yet and what their thinking about planting or if they are going to plant and yeah I or if they're just going to plant a bunch of stuff that they didn't last year if you're planting anything new I'd be kind of curious to hear if you're trying anything new this year I'm super excited my seeds from um, Baker Creek have shipped and I'm super excited and I've been tracking them like a hawk and i'm excited for them to come i still need to stratify i think is the word my lavender i keep saying i'm going to but i haven't yet and i really want to i need to, i want to get my herb garden up and running for instance she doesn't mind the rain as long as there's no thunder and lightning and it isn't a downpour in coral yes i like warm downpours they're fun i do and i don't because then it's humid when the sun comes out Freedom Quill Farm says the silver foxes I got are so sweet. I'm excited for her to have babies on two five. How are your baby bunnies doing? They are doing good so far. We got three blacks and one chocolate. Two of the blacks have pretty large stars on them that I'm not so sure about. Um, but we'll see. I was pleasantly surprised about the chocolate. I was like, oh, is this chocolate? Is this blue? What is this? And the lady we got her from said that it looks very likely like chocolate so i am really excited so we'll see what kind uh it's a boy or girl we're gonna have been going to sleep for the last 30 years with the same thunder and rain cd do you mean snoring oh no no he actually listens to compact CD. disc <laughs> what generation are you from no i know but i thought he meant like like a broken record, like like that somebody like there's always that sound, but he means like an actual CD. I thought he was being I thought he was being metaphorical. Which doctor says I make psycho or listen to the rain too. <laughs> I used to um have like a sound maker because my dad used to snore a lot and I wouldn't sleep without it. And it yeah, was like one of those to, tan things. Yeah, it's I was like super overweight. That's so annoying. I think I still snore sometimes. Oh, last night you were. Really? Oh, my throat did hurt this morning. 
Yeah, I have no idea why, but you were like out like a light. Well, probably because I actually wasn't sleeping very good because Nano has been. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I'm so tired, you guys. It's like having a newborn baby. Except the difference is he has to get up and take care of the baby. What? When we had children, you did not get in the middle, up in the middle of the night. No, it was always me knocking you. I'd always yeah. wake up. You wouldn't wake, wake up enough to wake her up. To wake me up. And then I'd be like, no, it's your turn. And then he would pretend to sleep. Ugh, piss me off so much. Anyways. So he gets up to Nano. Um, Bruna says, rain's fine. It's the sun flashes light and loud beams that I can't take. Yeah, they definitely. And sometimes we get ones that, sorry. Um. Sometimes we get ones that like literally like rattle the walls and stuff or like stuff on the walls. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, the thunderstorms? Yeah, and our where we are now, our head is up against the like, outside, outside wall. wall. So when it like thunders, like it's like right here and it's scary. Um, that's also not the model call. That's how it sounded to me. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> what was that one? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not reading that one out wow. loud. You guys can read it for yourself. Well, that's why I was like blushing. I'm like, whoa. Uh, Kelly says, pin up on the top half. Yes, I would consider it lower half or like sexy, skimpy, etc. Nope. Yeah, I don't know that I could. Not to public. Not. Mm, I don't know, man. Uh, Bernie says, I think it should be a crazy quail lady calendar. You know, we could probably just do about a mix of everything because the quail theory is trying to end up being like a, a, a mix. An, an eclectic mix. It's very hard to say. Try Model Mayhem. You can find models. Is that like a site? Maybe? I don't want to look. <laughs> Jeff Martin says, bet you could sell more mamas. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. We'd rather see your face braided. <laughs> we still need to chuckle, though. I think she just calls you ugly. I know. Oh. It's something that a mama would only love. He's cute. You can't see your beard against your shirt. I don't have a beard. It's gone. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yeah, this is agreed, Kelly. LOL. I'm team crazy quail right, over quail mamas. Yeah. SL Swanson said, calendar, I'd like to know why the ladies think it has to be sexy. Because that's what was implied when you said something about the yeah. other thing. But that's not what I, that's I ever meant. That's everybody's dreams went. That's so. fine. You know, you can, you can think that, but that's, that's all right. The crazier the better, lol. Yeah, I think we've all got plenty of crazy in us. <laughs> uh, Green Quail Farms says, question, has anyone else noticed there's jumbo catching later than the standards? No. It can. But I guess that maybe makes sense because they have to take a little longer to grow. I've, I've noticed it in the past, but... We tend to do, like, giant hatches, though, so maybe that's why I haven't really noticed. And because of our cabinet incubator, like you cannot you see, see in there. Like I really wish it had a clear door, like the GQF does. Um, we have the hatching time incubator, and there's just this itty bitty little like peephole to see. There's one up to like the a top submarine. And one down, yeah. And you can't see in there like at all. So, and of course you don't want to open it. So like you just kind of like peek in there, and you can see like movement. And you're like, okay, I think some hatch. And then we wait like 24 hours, and we'll like actually open the spaceship door. So. Oops, sorry, clicked on that. Sorry. Um, Jasmine, yes, like a spin off of Crazy Cat Ladies. It would be humorous to me. Yeah, I could do some like crazy hair, like, you know, like blonde Mufasa. Do that. Ooh. Ah, sorry. Oh my gosh, I am struggling hardcore. Um, Verna says yes, the bigger eggs. Um, take slightly longer. 
I got bait. It says all aboard the crazy quail train. Cobra Kai, Cobra Coco Kai. Fire. Psych Wars says my jumbo eggs did take longer than regular eggs. Jasmine agrees. Mm -hmm. That is true, Chris. If I can raise them in a one bedroom apartment, then anyone can raise them. Yes, that is awesome. Um, Freedom Quill from says that's what I have happening in LOL. My standards are almost all hatched with my few jumbos, but they just start cooking today on day 18. Excuse me. S.S. Swanson says, Dean, Chris, and I brag that I have 50 and proud of it. I'll be singing. I'd be singing if I had room for 600. Yeah, it's a little cramped, I'm not going to lie. We definitely outgrew the barn before we even had quail in it. So, yeah. Yep. Freedom Quail Farm says, okay, perfect. Good to know. I was stressing. I was excited to win some AJ Farms eggs. Wanted to make sure I wasn't messing up with them. Yeah, no. Yeah, Jasmine says 50 is still a good number, Steve. Oh, I agree. For, I mean, before, like, we did this, I think that's about, I don't think I even had that many because I had a breeder set in. Yeah, we had like 20. Yeah. Or 25 or so. Yeah. Maybe six is 24. Um, Brenna says that's why you keep the incubator going for 20 days. Yeah. Cream platform says, yes, we're not, I agree. I'm just spoiled and used to the standards. Sorry. Excuse me. Kelly says, haha, I got more curves than quail over here. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Kelly says, I'm listening to you guys, my incubator peeping, my two favorite things. Oh, I'm not as cute as little baby raisins, though. Little fluffy raisins. 13 isn't unlucky unless you are superstitious. I'm not. I just have really bad luck. Like, really bad luck. Kelly said, did you tell Brandon for your birthday we need a girl's trip? I'd be down for that. I was joking with my cousin that we should go to Vegas for my 30th birthday. But when I went to Vegas with her last February, there was a couple times when I was a little, actually a little bit scared. Like... It is way different going to Vegas with your mom when you're 200 pounds heavier than going to Vegas with your other young cousin after losing 200 pounds. I learned not to wear a dress after dusk. And yeah, I now have a, I think it's called a bad kitty. It's like the shape of a cat to keychain, like put it on your fingers and like have little ears or like to poke somebody's eyes out. I have one of those now because it saved our lives in Vegas because my cousin had one. And then the knife that also saved our lives, um, TSA took because I forgot it was in my shorts pocket. So yeah, yeah, let's take a field trip or a girl's trip. Um, Jasmine says, yes, turkey poults are super fun. They need a chicken chick as a teacher to show them how to eat and drink. Yeah, I've heard that. It's super weird. Kelly and Slater didn't. Oh, but that's I because they were already, well, they well, we didn't older. hatch them out. We got them as yeah. So that would make sense. I love the sounds that turkeys make. The little, the little peeping. Peeping, peeping, peeping. Like they just, they like, they're more their peeping is more like song like. So. 13 isn't any more unlucky than a black cat. That's true. So I hate when people say black cats are bad luck because I have had black cats and I love them. We have a black cat. Yeah, we have a black cat now again. But like apparently there is a statistic black cats are one of the most, the highest, like not plumage, color in. Like, the most common color in shelters because people don't buy them because they think they're unlucky or they don't adopt them. And so they get euthanized the most, which is really sad because they're sweet. Kelly, my black cat was unlucky, got eaten by a cougar. Holy mackerel. That is unlucky. Okay. But he was unlucky. He didn't cause bad luck. He was unlucky. 
Witch Doctor says we're catching out right now. Psycho just heard frantic peeping from an egg. It was unzipped, but the baby was still inside. He picked up the egg and poof, a baby was born. Yeah, it's really funny. They like, like they'll zipper all the way around, and all of a sudden they go like, and the, the egg just like goes. <laughs> Witch Doctor says, "Love me, black cat." Yes. Brandon said Kelly was unlucky for you, but for him. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> Kristen Stewart's cute. <laughs> Psycho War says my second half might snort also. <laughs> I get that from my mom. Brandon says I don't have space for a garden, but I have started sweet potato slips. Mm. I think, um, weren't you, Brandon, weren't you talking about doing like the hydroponics tower too, like Dale does? <laughs> Which doctor says, I do snort, not pretty. <laughs> Katie Bell Creation says started winter sewing. Awesome. Yeah, let us know where you're growing. Jasmine says yes, and she has I don't know, a plant, plant, sunflower, cucumber, cucumber strawberry, strawberry, blueberry, and garlic. I can't find garlic anywhere. Nobody has garlic. Plus, we like missed. We were supposed to plant it in the fall. So at least around here. S.S. Swanson says, because I don't have any yard, I was hoping for hydroponics. Hint, hint. He's really pushing. So no gardening for me unless I can find a little acreage. Yeah, you and Vernon need to do the hydro tower, hydroponics tower. Uh, Witch Doctor says, question on the cellies. Will the babies, babies lay blue eggs? Yes, as long as you breed the cellies together. Um, so the celadons that you have are homozygous. So as long as you breed them to another homozygous celadon, the babies will also be homozygous, true blue, etc. So, but if you wanted to, like, say you wanted to introduce new blood or something, um, you just bring them to like a non celadon, just whatever. Um, then they're no longer homozygous, they're only heterozygous. So the babies may or may not be actual celadons and laying blue eggs. So it's lots of confusing fun. It's a fun challenge. Jeff Hart says, gardens, oh yeah, Canada, crook, neck, new this year, plus everything. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like, because isn't garlic, there's soft neck and hard neck or whatever? Yeah. Is crook neck something maybe? Jasmine says, Steve, oh, you can grow in containers and grow bags, indoors or on a small mm -hmm. patio. Which doctor says, let's start a co-op and buy 200 acres and start a community in Tennessee. Actually, I was thinking about that the other day. Actually, today, because I was talking to Kelly about something. She's like, I didn't forget to reply. I'm sorry, I was busy. But I saw the text come through, and she's like, let's like, tell Brandon that we need to like have a farm together. And I was like, you yeah, know, we should all just like pick Her a location. Squash. Oh. oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, the people's answered. The peoples. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not familiar peoples. with a bunch of squash. I, didn't, I don't care for squash. So I, I don't. You like acorn squash? I like acorn squash and that's it. Zucchini that's is a literally, squash. Well, yeah, but like, I don't know. Anywho. Um, yeah, I, I wish. I wish. That would be really cool. Like being surrounded by other like minded, minded people. people. You know how many quail we would have? If all the quail people got together. Can you imagine how loud it would be? All crows, but the two hundred acres though. Imagine that aviary we, each would we can like, build. Mm -hmm, that's a big aviary. Like, but every but two hundred acres, like that'd be so cool. <laughs> Brandon says, you know, you can grow sweet potato slips and put them in water. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And grow them in water and grow the vines. They are edible for you and the birds. Interesting. 
Burns on board with the 200 acres. All right, let's go, guys. Pack up. We're leaving. Ericism says, I want to try that. I love growing things to feed them. I sprouted some sunflowers and grew some peanut sprouts for them. Speaking of growing things, Ed will appreciate this. And I actually sent him a picture. Uh so we're looking into different ducks again, whatever. And I was reading about Ancona or Ancona ducks. It's A-N-C-O-N-A. And I was reading about like their temperament and their characters and whatever. And the article has reading system about growing duckweed. And for those of you that don't know, Ed is the duckweed king. If there, if anybody's ever asking for a few suggestions, he's like duckweed. You need duckweed. Have you tried duckweed? Hey, have you heard about our Lord and Savior duckweed? And <laughs> so naturally, like I sent it to him. I'm like, oh my god, they talked about duckweed. Because uh, I had never heard of it until I did the Quail 101 videos, and he mentioned it, and then I looked into it, I'm like, oh, interesting. So we may or may not try growing some duckweed. I don't know. We'll see. We will. I don't know. Why not? Okay. Right. I'll probably try and fail, but. <laughs> I wanted to make a pond in the summer, and you wouldn't let me, so. Between mosquitoes. And I don't know how that works with us being so close to the river here. I have a feeling that somebody would have a hissy fit. I'm sure there's some weird, stupid room. Anyhow. Just let me dig holes. <clears throat> okay, Latte. Latte has a hole halfway to China if you want a hole. Well, I can go and dig a whole lot quicker than she can. I'm going to be a backhoe. <laughs> yeah. I can dig down to the water table and we can have our own natural pond. Then we can. I don't know. We'll see. Jasmine says, I'm explaining my medicinal herb garden and orchard slash berry patch. I'm also planning a farm animal fodder plat plot. Yep. That sounds awesome. I um, have it in my cart and I keep like, I'll move it to my cart and then put it to the safe to later and move it back to my cart and back forth. The, it says like the Native American herbalist Bible something. It's like, I don't know, $25 or something. And I was like, oh, do I need this? No, because I haven't even started my herbs. Like, but I really want it. So maybe I don't have a better idea about what herbs I want. I just need to buy it and just like have it. I've been reading um, this book. I actually got it for free. I think I paid shipping or something. But it sells for Amazon for like 35 bucks. It says, oh, what's it called? I'll have to post. I'll post on our Facebook um about it but it's very very interesting it's about this couple that started a homestead and like showing they like show like a map of where you can plant stuff and like making the most of your space and everything it's very interesting so um ed says he's used grow bags and they work great jasmine are you going to grow wild lettuce Verna says you can get a sprout kit and grow all kinds of sprouts for them. Yeah, I really want to do, um, I was looking at barley versus wheat, and barley is way cheaper than wheat. So I was going to order like a 50-pound bag of barley and try some sprouts, some microgreens. I don't know. My mind just went there. I would rather not make it that way. I like the idea of the crazy quail lady. Nobody freaking implied that it would be. Whatever. It was definitely implied. <laughs> yes, it can be fun and not sexy. Yes. Hey, Frank's here. Jeff says, Mel, I'm pretty sure it grows on its own here on my property. I do quite a bit of wild foraging here. Super blessed for that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Exactly. Yes, just the fun of it. And I think, too, like, That's all that ours was. Taking... That Quail Daddies was just... For fun. fun. It, it was, was just humor. fun and it was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I'm glad that we're able to like share the fun, you know? Like, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just reading ahead Jasmine's response. Oh, I remember that actually. It's hilarious. Do you get to it? Okay. You'll, you'll laugh with me. Okay. Eric Ism says, I fed them some kale and collards a few weeks ago that was frozen in my garden. They really loved it. I want to try a garden bed just for them this year. Yeah, I ordered some of the seeds that I ordered, or did I take those out of my cart? My Baker Creek cart was out of control, and I had a bunch, and I like cut back. So I can't remember if I ordered rabbit and quail stuff or not. I know I didn't order barley, but... 
I definitely want to do more like, oh, I did order carrots, although you can't give rabbits too many carrots, at least not the root part. I know that they can eat the tops, but yeah, I have a lot of really cool carrots coming in if I don't kill them. Um, just make sure not to give them tomato or pepper greens. Those are nightshade family. Yes, you cannot get them those. Uh, Verna says, my baby is older than you. LOL, she'll be 34 in July. That's awesome. Yeah, I am not looking forward to 30. I am very quickly approaching it and I'm dreading it. But I think once I get there and get over that little hump, it'll be okay. I think it's just because like I'm like not young. I just, I'll be middle-aged kind of, I guess. I don't know. Anywho. Sam, what's the temperature going to be on Saturday? I'm not looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to what we're doing, but I'm not looking forward to the cold. I'm not either, and especially if it's going to really be that cold on Saturday. Erica Zim says, I adopted two black cats from the shelter, and they are the best cats I have ever had. I love them. Yes, my um, one cat was black growing up. His name was Romeo. No, it's not too bad. Because he was, like, the sweetest thing ever. Um, he lived to be... 14 and um, I got to meet him. Yeah, for a short bit. Um and then my mom had a black cat. We went to go we went to an apple orchard and somebody was giving away free kittens and I say free because there's no such thing as a free kitten because you have to like, oh, yeah, the you kids have to wanted them it. and stuff. And me and the kids were playing with the cat and then well, Preston was. Olivia was Oma, in a baby car seat. She well, even talk yeah, about. me and him were playing with the cats. Yeah, and the kids Oma, were playing with the cat. Oma was like, I guess we can take it. Yeah. When, and it ran, rode on my shoulder all the way home. Yeah. I went, she was like, no, no, no. And then our son like looked up at her like holding the cat. And he's like, please, Oma. And she's like, all right, I guess. <laughs> so, so she got a black cat. And then Olivia asked for a black cat for her birthday. Um, or for Christmas last year. So we got Starlight, who is a black cat. Um, so yeah, we like them. Where is that they're also the most abusive cats because of ignorance and fear. Yes, I agree. It's very sad. Everybody should have a black cat because it's your chance to own a tiny panther. What more reason do you need? Uh, SS Watson said we had a gray kitten. Two weeks later, was outside and found our gray kitten had gotten out, picked up, and brought it back into the house. Now we have two totally gray cats. It wasn't our kitten. <laughs> That's amazing. That's adorable. Um, yes, yeah, so my mom. Well, oh, never mind. <laughs> my mom adopted a stray cat, and not so long ago, she would have not adopted a stray cat. So she brought one in the house and then all of a sudden now another one showed up. So, but that one's staying outside and she's going to have it as a mouser. So. Brenda says she doesn't have room in the apartment. I bet we could find you something. <laughs> we have lots of, I, not lots of brains here. Um, Alan says, hello. Hello, Alan. Thanks for joining us. Bruno says, Chris, I have no room, period, for a tower. <laughs> and then everybody's telling me how dumb I am. <laughs> Crookneck is a summer squash. Uh, Kelly said, oh, my God, I'd start a co-op. Yes, we should. I was actually thinking Missouri because I feel like everybody lives in that area. Like, like okay, so Missouri, Ohio, Indiana, like, that's where all my, like, people tend to, like, most of my people are there and see if it was me i'd be wanting to go to like idaho or like montana or idaho. or idaho. like south freaking dakota like away from people yeah you can be away from people there i still want to be a mid i'm a midwestern girl oh i mean i wasn't okay. born in the midwest anyway. but i grew up in the midwest i was born in colorado but i don't really remember it I remember our house and the grocery store. Don't I don't know why I remember the grocery store, but I do. And I remember my babysitter's house. Holy mackerel. Jeff Martin says 500 girls sent out just waiting for spring. Oh, so jealous. That's awesome. 
Berna says her favorite is the pansy see yes i love them they are gorgeous jasmine says in in kana and kona that's so pretty yeah at first when i saw them like how oh, they're very like hodgepodgey messy looking but the more i look at them the more they're growing on me i really want some kayugas um but it sounds like the Amponas would probably be a better fit for us. Frank Kimball's in the house. Says hi, YouTube. Hello, hello. We will be seeing you this weekend. We're going to be doing some NVIP testing, drawing some blood, and drawing some circles and purple stuff. Duckweed would be a little like hydroponics, right? Yes, yes, it totally would be. No dirt, no dirt in the hydroponics. Jasmine, are you going to grow ginger? Anaconda ducks. Oh my God, Kelly, you cracked me up. <laughs> my anaconda one, unless you got buns, huh? I've got buns. Little bunnies. Jasmine says, my fave is fat bees and super dark Tibetans and grouse. Oh, and deep green ones. Moody, moody green. I think was your favorite color. <laughs> yeah. Deep green ones. Yeah, uh, when when Jasmine was on our live, somebody asked her what her favorite color was, and she replied like a deep moody green. <laughs> and they meant what color quail? <laughs> but we all know Jasmine's favorite color now. It's deep moody green. Yeah. But if anybody can develop a deep moody quail. Moody green quail. A Cayuga colored quail. That'd be really cool. An I am Seimani slash like Cayuga slash quail. That'd be really neat. I'd be on that too. Oh, don't ask me that. What's the title of the book? Your B day is coming up. Oh, the, yeah, I don't know. What book you wanted? Yeah, it's, um, don't find me anything for my birthday. Good night, Jeff. We should. Just to the girl's trip. <laughs> don't tell me no. I'm just confused on how you think you're going to do that. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a new version of the song. Maybe instead of a quail mama's calendar, we should do like a quail music video or something. That sounds very complicated and difficult, but also fun. Really good. Yeah, I couldn't remember. <laughs> yes. Oh, Frank is over here now, too. Hi, you two. What a cold week. Yeah, I hope you guys are staying warm over there. You're a little bit closer to Lake Michigan, too, so it's probably a little... I don't know. You're, I don't know if you're really close Not enough really. to they get the, that They have the big effect. lake, though. Yeah. You get some from that. A little bit. That little big lake that we have over there. Yes, when I was making fun of myself, guys, I said my favorite color was a moody deep green once on a live. <laughs> and so so I said, woohoo, those green quails still waiting for mine. Um, I forgot what it was. Somebody said something about like if you could make any color quail, what would it be? And I think I said purple. So it'd probably be easier to make a green one before purple. Although some black animals do look like more purpley and green and blue um like it kind of depends on their sheen so it could be possible this weirdo here hello yes very cold want warm weather weather to come soon i agree oh frank has duckweed duck oh you don't yet duckweed is so great i have to get into it when we get our farm Heck yeah, we have a duckweed farm. <laughs> Ed, you're gonna move up here, right? Help us. Uh, Verna says, no, nah, not middle age till you hit 65. I hope that's my middle age. I'll, I don't know though, the way the world is going sometimes, I don't know that I wanna live that long. All right, I think we got a new project, you guys. Which doctor says that they want green quail too? <laughs> yeah, if you figure out how to do that, let me know. <laughs> Frank says, I'll keep it warm for you. Nope. Away from keyboard. You don't have to show that. Oh, I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> mm 
Me too. <laughs> well, in a soul, yes. Um, yeah, we're going falcon hunting on Saturday morning before we come over or go over to Frank's place. So there was supposed to be like a falcon or a raptor or whatever convention on Saturday, but they canceled because of COVID concerns. And I think it's because some of the like main speakers canceled, not necessarily the people that want yeah, to come to Yeah, they moved it to May or something. Yeah, I think May or no, somewhere around probably, summer. We should probably figure that out. Yeah, I need to figure it out. So, <laughs> so I mean, we can go. Um. Which I still need to get the address of what hotel we're meeting at on Saturday. It's kind of a blessing in disguise because between like sending out egg orders and like trying to stock up our freezer for the dogs, um, I was a little bit, I was freaking out a little bit about frozen feeder quail. Um, so <laughs> now there's not quite as much pressure, but there is the pressure just got moved back a little bit more. Um, but anyhow, they're still going falcon hunting on. Um, Saturday. So we're going to take, we're going to do some feeders, some feeder rabbits, maybe a live rabbit, not ours, some culls that we bought. Um, and then maybe a couple live and dead quail. We'll see. So, but anyhow, it's, um, our daughter. I'm, I'm bringing lots of dead quail and frozen quail. Yeah. So we're hoping to sell a bunch, um, to these raptor people. So, um, but it's also our daughter's birthday on Saturday and she loves animals and like, I don't know. I've never seen a falcon or eagle or anything. Well, I did see an eagle swoop up a fish once, but I wasn't close. So it wasn't like nearly as cool. Like, I don't know how close we'll be. I have hand fed an eagle though, but it was in a dishwasher box. Um, they had like a half, it, the top half of its beak was broken off because it got hit by a car. And it was at the Raptor Education Group Inc. up in Anago. Um, for like rehabilitation. What? I'm sorry, squirrel. No, I'm know. just laughing at oh. Jasmine's idea with the freaking Kool Aid. She said that she could dye a pearl with green Kool Aid. Hmm. Like, hmm. <laughs> sounds like a bad idea. I challenge accepted. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I got bait. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, I'm hoping we'll have to ask, or did you already ask if we can record? No, I didn't. Falcon hunting. I'm sure. I didn't even think about it. that. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. You guys can see the falcon stuff. We should do that. That'd be really neat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, which doctor says if you buy MP, IP eggs, do you still need to get the bird certified? Yes. Um, so at least, okay, so in Wisconsin, there is um, there's MP, IP test block, which means like you have you yourself have done the testing. And then there's MP, IP affiliate block. Um, I don't know about other states, but basically that is where you agree to buy only from MP, IP breeders. Um, which basically just means that you can take your animals to shows and stuff. Um, because obviously like in close confinement, if anybody is sick, any of those birds are sick, it's going to go through very quickly and then everybody takes their birds home and a big problem will happen. Um, so as long as you're buying your birds from an MPIP person, like you can take your birds to shows. Um, so, but yeah, if you actually want to be MPIP and ship across state lines, um, you, you yourself need to get tested. So, um, and I don't, not you, but the birds. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully you don't have <laughs> any of those diseases because that would be bad. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Jasmine says, I have enjoyed spending my evening with all you wonderful people. Going to have y'all in the background while I'm in the kitchen. Awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, that'd be really cool. I bet your son would like that. Um, they said that to get hunting. ready for us. Oh, gotcha. All right. Jeff is headed out. I'm sure that was old. So mm -hmm. have a good night if you're still listening or rewatching. Uh, Jasmine says, yes, I can. And I have, but I'm not growing enough in containers for it to be worth it. I don't use ginger enough to grow ginger. I bought a bunch of ginger because I was going to put it in those simmer pots, I think. 
Right. But I didn't because I wasn't sure. And I used it, it for one fresh, of our meals. Yeah, it was fresh but... ginger, and I thought that it would be too moist that it would, like might create like mold in there. I was kind of iffy about the cranberries too, but I think that they were okay. Anyways, Freedom Quail Farm says Mean Rooster became chicken barbecue sandwiches tonight. No mean birds allowed. Mean quail are so much easier to deal with than mean chickens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. They sure are. It's my pink. Yeah, any quill. Color quill you want. Yeah, I could have a purple, pink, teal. Ooh, teal. <laughs> yeah, those probably don't breed true, huh? If you dial with Kool Aid. I will get myself a green quail shush. At first I read that as like slushy because my contact is kind of blurry, but I was like, yeah, you could use like a green slushy too. <laughs> it's kind of cold though. Pictures, Jasmine, pictures. I agree. Yeah, it'd be fun to see. I've got bait posted the information for MDIP, so definitely go check that out. Um, even if you're not like, you know, intending to ship across state lines or anything like that, um, it's really good to do, um, just practicing that biosecurity. Cause even if you're not like, say you're negative for the disease that you're testing for, like there, are, there's lots of other stuff that birds can get. Um, quail don't seem to be quite as susceptible to respiratory illnesses as like chickens are, for instance, like chickens are very sensitive. Um, but quail technically can still get sick knock on wood like we haven't but it's possible so and i don't want that so just practicing those biosecurity methods and standards is a really good idea no matter who you are or how many quail you have uh Brian says all my birds are from mpip certified sellers lol you and my shire there you go <laughs> I've got bases jazz and just use green lights so everything is green. Um, yeah, I mean, you could totally. Um, it's like putting your rose colored glasses on. <laughs> what about a disco light? You need a disco light for your quail. I've got bait having a 7 Eleven Slurpee now. Cherry. Ooh, red quail. <laughs> oh, yes. Ferris, Berna says, I am very AI clean. LOL. Yes. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, we've been on for two hours. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you guys. All right. Yeah, we only lost like five people or ten people this whole time. Just awesome. Thank you for sticking around, everybody. Yeah, thank you for uh, sticking with us. Jasmine says, LOL, Ed, I'm thinking Photoshop may be the safest route. That way, no he'll, he'll get harmed or embarrassed. Yes. <laughs> Your Wednesday is complete. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, we love you too, Kelly. Smiles. I'll have to, I'll have to text you. Um, yeah. Lucy needs to go out. Yeah, yep. I have to go find myself, to, actually. I need to get my uh, dog outside, too. Doggo. So. All right. Well, have a good night, everybody. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We'll see you back here next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. This is us at whiskeytanglefarms.net. And see you later. Bye. Bye.